Hi everyone, welcome back to my video. So today we're going to continue our sewing journey and that is going to start by setting up your domestic sewing machine. So we're going to go through the basic steps of winding up a bobbin, threading the machine, changing a needle as well as changing the foot and this should get you going to start sewing. To begin we're going to start by threading a bobbin but first thing um, you need to make sure is that you have a really good thread as I explained in my previous video but the Sarah Long thread is really good. Um, just make sure that your thread is 100% polyester. This means that it won't break by just pulling it as well as it has elastic in it so that it stretches with your fabric. This is the bobbin that uh, I use for my machine. Uh, as you can see here I'm using the Alma Experience 580. Every machine is different but I'll just go through the basics and this should be all the same for all the domestic machines. Um, you should get a manual with your machine. This will explain step by step how to do everything. If it doesn't come with a manual, so just try downloading it off the internet. Okay, so first thing first, you need to turn on your machine. So when I am connecting my bobbin, I undo my foot. This machine doesn't allow you to wind a bobbin with the foot in. I'm going to place my bobbin inside the over here. I'm using this bright orange color so you can see better what I am doing. I remove the spool and place it on top so that the thread doesn't jump around when you're sewing and threading. So my machine is quite nice is that it has numbers. So number one, I slide it through there. Number two, turn around there and I go up. As you can see there's a nice clear bobbin image over there. I'm now pulling the thread along. I wrap it quite a few times, one, two, three, four, five, just to give it a nice boost to start. And then I cut it off. There's a cutter in there. I then push my bobbin against here. A bobbin image comes up. And then on my machine, I have a stop and start button in case I don't want to use my sewing foot. I press start. And as you can see, it's winding really nicely. I wind it right to the top, and once it's complete, the machine will turn off. I press stop, pull it back towards that side, my left hand side, lift it up, there's a cutter over here, remove it. Your bobbin is nice, there's no loops, it's all clean and it's um, smooth over here. You don't want it all loopy because then it's going to get stuck while you're sewing. A beautiful finish, ready to be placed inside your machine to get started threading the actual machine. Step two, inserting a needle, changing a needle, inserting a foot, changing a foot. This is what we're going to learn in this video. First thing first is you'll need the following to do this. A screwdriver needles and a sewing foot. The first thing we're going to do is insert your needle. One. You'll see here there's a screw button here. I use my screwdriver to make sure that it's loose so that I do have space to insert the needle. I'm going to take my needle. My needle has a round side and a flat side. It will not go in if it's in the incorrect way. So you keep needing to fiddle in this button over here. Once it's the correct way, it will glide in smoothly. I then take my screwdriver and screw it on tightly. I can even do it with my fingers at first, just to make it tight over here. And then I need to take the screwdriver and just extra tighten it. You don't want the needle to fall out while you're sewing, so it must be very secure. Just keep screw driving it and screwing it tight. There we go. We have now inserted the needle. Step two, the sewing foot. I am going to now insert the sewing foot. I glide it smoothly underneath here and you'll hear it clip. That means it in. If I want to remove it, there's a red button at the back here and it drops it out. So again, 
I, I use this as a guide. I take it underneath here and I hear a nice click. That means it's in. Part three, setting up your machine and threading your machine. First thing you need to do is plug your machine in. There should be a, a plug point on the side of your machine. And then I'm going to plug in my sewing foot, which is all on the side of the machine. I'm not going to turn my machine on yet for safety reasons. Obviously, when you're fiddling with the needle and stuff, you need to make sure that your machine is off so you don't have an accident. I'm going to remove the spool. I'm going to take my thread, insert it, place the spool on top to secure it so it doesn't jump around when you're sewing. Then, again, I'm going to follow the steps. My machine has numbers, which allows me to know which way to thread. Step one, step two, step three, going down, and going around. Going through there, step four, here, step five. My machine has an automatic threader. So I don't need to manually thread my needle, pull this down, go under, there, round, and lift slightly and slowly and pull through. I'm going to shut this close. There's a cut at the back here. I don't want my thread too long because what will happen is then it gets jammed and stuff. And then place it underneath between the sewing feet and to the side. It doesn't actually really matter which side you place your thread on this machine. It can be on the left or the right. And then go to place my bobbin. So I pull this to the side. I lift up the screen. And then I'm going to insert my bobbin. Again, I'm going to place it underneath here, around one, two, and there's a cutter. Pull it off and close my machine. Step four, I now turn on my machine to test that everything is correctly placed and threaded. I check my stitch length and the size of my stitch. I've got in a standard 3.5, which is the size of your stitch, and a 2.4, which is the length of my stitch. And now I'm going to check that my speed is correct. I've got it on the lowest speed as an example, but you can adjust this and make it as fast as you wish. And then I'm going to take a scrap piece of fabric and place it under my foot just to make sure that everything's in order. I lower my sewing foot, I put my needle down, and then I begin testing to see if everything is in order. Once I've completed this, I cut, I have an automatic cut on the machine which cuts the thread, I lift my foot and I examine my stitch to make sure that everything's in order. As you can see, Nothing is looping, it's not making any nests, and I'm good to get going with my sewing. Thanks guys for watching my video. That's a wrap up for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more channel videos. See you soon.